Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We're on another side by side. I am here with uh, Chad Price. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he currently serves as the art director at Victor Royal Church in Norcross, Georgia. He's okay. been doing it um, at the church now for about three years. Yep. Um, overall, you've been art directing for about five years. Sounds good. Okay, so you've 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 done a few things. You've been around the block for a little bit, and so uh, uh, I wanted to talk with you and wanted to get you to talk to some of the leaders. So first of all, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Pumps. Hey, so listen, here's what here's what I know about okay. art directing is you have to you have to really be good at it, okay? <laughs> and you gotta direct things and make a lot of art. Yes. Right. So art and director. This art is and director. Title. That's mm -hmm. that's 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 really it. That's all I do. <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> here's here's what, what I have seen of what your job is. Okay. It's taking other people's vision and, and producing it into something that communicates not just the the intent, but also something that that's attractive, something that people want to come to, that they want to be a part of. Sure. Um, you have to connect with a lot of leaders, a lot of leaders who have vision, a lot mm -hmm. of leaders who want to produce something. And I wanted to get your feedback on when you're interacting with leaders, where is the line for you between inspiration and intimidation? Because there's there's got to be a line there where you're you're hearing someone feedback, you're hearing what they are trying to produce, and you're inspired by it. You're sure. like, I can do that. I yeah. can create that. I can help bring that to to life. Mm -hmm. But then there has to be a time or two where the lines become this is what I want and you're going to do it. And so talk to us about that line between inspiration and intimidation and how you've dealt in those situations yeah. and, and, and just kind of open that box up a little bit for us. Sure. So I think um, for me coming into Victory mm -hmm. from uh, the corporate world, um, I had to figure out, I had to figure out a strategy. It's yep. a big staff, a lot of people. Um, and in marketing, you quickly look like the bad guy when you come in. And you're like, let's do, let's do this, let's <laughs> right. go do this. I want to do these five things. Right. And, and then people are like, whoa, that's we're, we had our thing going. Yeah. The ship was already moving, and you yeah. just jumped on. You're trying to hijack the ship. Yeah. So um, I made a conscious effort when when I came on board that that first I would try to develop relationship and trust with uh, the different ministry heads first. Yeah. And build that relationship so when I do bring up um, okay maybe that's not I see your vision maybe that's not the greatest idea but I think this will accommodate what you're trying to achieve in the long run yes so let's do this when I say those kind of things if you don't know me you're like well this guy's all about doing it his way you know it's not about what my vision is he just wants to do something that looks cool or whatever that is yeah, yeah. but if we have relationship yeah. then uh, there's a different context there then there's trust and it's like well I'm not just trying to do something just for the sake of doing it, I, I really have a, you know, I have your heart in mind. I have the vision of what you're trying to accomplish for your ministry in mind. And I'm just really just trying to make the best possible scenario happen. Um, Cause there's a lot of, you know, logistical things with marketing. It's not just making a pretty picture, but it's like, what are we communicating? What are we saying without really saying it? Um, you know, all those things kind of come into play when yep. you're, when you're thinking about art in general. And honestly, if I was smarter, um, when I was younger, I would have, I would have done a different trade because <laughs> Art is the most subjective thing right, in the world. Right. So, I, I can think something's the greatest idea in the world. Yeah. But uh, nine times out of ten, it's, it's not the idea of someone else. That's not what they envision. It's just what my brain constructed based on things I watch and see and love and experience. Yeah. So, um, all that being said, the relational part was the first part, um, and then it's understanding them and their vision to to take that and then formulate something out of that. So. There's kind of two dynamics I deal with in the position I'm in now. It's that relational um, position with the other leadership of the other ministries. And then it's also relational with, with um, my support staff that's, that's doing design and helping me come up with ideas and new original ideas. It's that dynamic that is the hardest part of the job. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, could sit in, I could sit in a basement like a crusty old dude right. and, and be on the computer and, and be churning out design all right. day long. Right. Just boom, 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 boom. Here you go, here you go, here you go. But that's not really gonna get the job done. Yeah. Um, in the long run, people don't want that. They want they want to feel like a team. 
They want to feel like they're they're feeding into it, and you're hearing what they're saying, and you're making something collaborative out of that. Yeah. So um, it's just a really tough dynamic. I don't know that I have a great answer for the question of of the difference between the two and what's the best way to do it. I think what I figured out was going to be the most important was the relational side of it. So I didn't get to the point where it felt like dictation. Mm. But I mean, there are still times where, um, yeah, as a as a, a director in that role, I have to go to my support staff and say, "Hey, we we just got to do this." Like I, I know it's probably not what you think is the greatest idea, and honestly, my support staff has way better ideas than I do half the time anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes I just got to like, we we just have to do this because it has to get done. Right. And um, a design's never done; you just run out of time to work on it. That's a good point. So it's like an idea. Yeah. It's never really. It's never refined complete. all the way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, at some point I just got to be like, okay, cool, we got two hours to finish this or yeah. two days to finish this or whatever that looks like. And then we come together as a team and, and, um, and collaborate on what that is and how we can make that happen. Gotcha. So uh, uh, I, I know I'm not answering your question, but no, I hope you, I'm feeding into kind of the process that I've gone through no, absolutely. in the position to figure out what that is. I don't ever feel like, I haven't felt like so far like a design's been dictated to me from somebody. Mm-hmm. I know that the vision is very concrete sometimes um, and I got to chisel away at it a little bit sometimes to kind of get the corners rounded off so it's yeah. not so sharp um, just so that's used for for marketing purposes yeah. um, but usually this is what's so great about the team at Victory and I can't speak for anybody else but um, them trusting me in that collaboration so they come to me yeah they have a vision for it but they also ask me how do you think that we can achieve this? Right. Not, well, I want to do this business Here's card, I and want. I want to do this flyer, and right. I want to do this email blast, and I want to do these different things. They're like, will that work? Well, I mean, depending on what ministry you are and who your demographic is and whatever that yep. is, and that kind of changes what that list is. Yeah. So um, I blabbered along for a long well, time. Well, basically what it sounds like you're saying is that the difference in intimidation and inspiration is relationship. Definitely. Without relationship, it's going to default to just do this, just do this, because relationship seems like it's the currency mm. of inspiration. Yeah. That's, that's really good. Yeah, it's I, the I'm conduit, it, I think. To, to think about it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think even if I had a great idea and I wanted to inspire somebody, if I didn't have a relationship with them or didn't understand how to communicate with them, I think it would still like feel like me dictating something. Yeah. Oh, here's a great idea. Let's you know, let's do this. Well, do if I, if they don't know me, then they're like, well, this guy just thinks he has the greatest ideas, and he, gotcha. he's just kind of dictating what he wants at this point. So I think it's yeah, it's it, I think that's the relationship. I think is the conduit of what goes back and forth, whether it's it, from me to my support staff or from me to to a director or a pastor or whatever that is in the ministry. Right. That's good, man. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. appreciate you kind of sharing that with us, kind of dropping that knowledge. <laughs> I hope it helps somebody for some um, reason. Well, one of the things I want to do, and uh, we've, we've started doing this every now and then, not every time, but I want to transition from sort of the, the, the conversation that we've been having to, to something that I feel is definitely a little more um, in your wheelhouse. Okay. okay, and you're pretty good at the at the, the art directing, <laughs> but what I also know is that you're a dad, which oh, means yeah. by very nature of being a dad, you've got some dad jokes. Yeah, yeah. So I want to challenge you oh, to a dad joke off. Let's do it. Boom. Bam. Boom. So, dad joke off part two. Uh, right now, I'm I'm undefeated oh, in the dad joke off. Uh, I that, I didn't win, but I didn't lose either. <laughs> so, I feel like everyone loses on the dad joke off. <laughs> there are a few groans, okay. things I am ashamed of yeah. that I've said and heard, uh, but I didn't lose. All right. So standard dad joke off rules. It is going to be uh, you tell your best dad joke, to, and you're trying to get the other guy to laugh. Okay. <sighs> and you can't laugh at your own jokes. Okay. Can you emphasize like the punchline or no? Oh, you can, you can go in. Okay. But no, okay. but after the joke, there's there's no extra, there's nothing extra. The joke stands on its own. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, uh, as the as the guest speaker, you uh, you get to go first. Dad joke off. Go. All right. 
I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start light, okay. and then we'll kind of get a little heavier. Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to get in. Let's <laughs> we'll start preschool, and then we'll gotcha. kind of go up from there. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Joke number one. Joke number one. How do baby birds learn how to fly? How do baby birds learn how to fly? I don't know. How? They wing it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They wing it. It's good. It's good. All right, let's go. It's good. I'm ready. All right. Uh, I don't know. I was going to tell you this joke about paper, but I changed my mind. This is pretty terrible. I'm not going to laugh at that. You should. I'm not going to give you that one. You should. Woo. Okay. All right. I got one. What's brown and sticky? Keep it PG. Uh, what's brown and sticky? I, I don't know. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> the disappointment. The sheer disappointment <laughs> of that just, of the bridge <laughs> landed. It was just like, no. Uh, awful. Woo. Awful. All right. That was... I'm taking you low so I can come back up. It's right, a, it's, right. a, it's a rebound method. That was preschool. Okay. Now we're, we're graduating. We're graduating. Now. Yep. Uh, um, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid of elevators. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to take steps to avoid them. Yeah, are you going to add those in? I feel like you have to. <laughs> That so makes it so shot. much better. Yeah, the rim shot just every single time. It <laughs> makes it good. I wasn't, but I, I will now. Okay. I will now. Um, oh, let me think of a, a let me think of a, a better, a stronger one now. Okay. Uh, yeah, no weak sauce. Okay. What did this is a slight political joke, but I feel like we can get through it together. Um, what did Obama say? On February thirteenth, what did Obama say on February thirteenth? February thirteenth. I don't know. What did Obama say on February thirteenth? I'm about to spend Valentine's all by myself. Wow. All by myself. All by myself. Come on, that's. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I'm coming that, back. That, I'm resurging. I'm resurging. That, I'm on the that, swing. That, that did something. Okay. That, that almost got me. All right. Had to, had to choke it back. Mm-hmm. It was lunch. That's what I was laughing at. Okay. I was laughing at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> tickle my, tickle my <laughs> stomach. Tickle my stomach. All right. Um, did you know that the most of my jokes are like historical based, <laughs> things you have to learn. Um, did you know the first French fries? weren't cooked in France. Okay. Yeah, they were actually cooked in Greece. Oh, that's a good one. Man, that's a good one. It works two ways. They were cooked in Greece. Because it's in Greece. <laughs> Physically, but not. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got, I got one for you. I don't have many more. I got like, I got one or two <laughs> Except more. Except we're running out. I got one or two more. <laughs> So I got. I'm, I'm gonna set this one up, and then I got one more. Okay. This should. Be, you should get this one. I, I almost hope you finish this one for me. Um, what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? I, I don't know. Irrelevant. Oh, that was rim shot. Yep. That was good. That was good. All right. That was good. Um, I'm, I'm going to drive fast because I think I only got one more. <laughs> We've got two solid jokes left here, <laughs> That's people. Right. That's it. This is it. Run out of road. If you're hoping it gets better, we've already passed that point. All right. Um, why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it'd be called a chicken sedan. Dang it!
<laughs> thunder, <laughs> thunder stolen. I'm gonna put that in my pocket right here. Just, just, just release that right that there. Thunder. Oh, that's wow. a good one. I knew that one. Stole my. I junk. knew that one. See, I feel like I'm gonna end on a high note now because yeah, I did that. Yeah, I think that, that counts as a as a point. Okay, so here's my last joke. Dang, I'm gonna give you a point. Wait. Oh. All right, here's my last joke. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, this, this is okay. it. Cream of the crop. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? If I were you, and I were looking for Will Smith in the snow, I would look for the Fresh Prince! Ah! Oh! Thunderstorm! Ah! Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do! <laughs> Boom! Ah! Yes! Point dead! Man! Booyah! <sighs> Shit! I Thanks stole your thunder stop. and you just stole it right back, stole man. Stole it right back. Gosh. Thanks for stopping by the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> Hope you had a good time. It was good, man. Yeah, we had I a good time, it. man. Thanks. For everyone, thanks for listening. Thanks for joining in. Hopefully something Chad has said helps you oh, boy. as you're leading his leaders and telling great dad jokes. <laughs> thanks, everybody. <laughs>